We had gone out to this charity event and Sutton had a joint. So I took one <laughs> tiny <laughs> hit and, and I never went into the actual charity event. I couldn't. Coming up on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills After Show. You've already I lost two sisters. Do you want to lose a third? Why would you say something about someone's family? You know nothing. I knew that that was the lowest place to go, and I went there. I'm telling you, this is who she is. Oh, oh no. tell everybody no. what Kathy did. You have did. to kiss ass in public. I am not scared of Kathy Hilton, Paris, and Nikki. I know them differently. I don't remember her being invited to Paris's wedding. Watch the show. She Wait. loves to break a fourth wall. Oh. Please stop. Don't try to come for me with your jacket upside down. <laughs> the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills After Show starts right now. During your argument with Sutton, she brings up your relationship with Kathy and Kim. Kyle, you are God. such a much better woman than I am because I would have snatched that bitch ball. You've already I lost two sisters. Do you want to lose a third? Oh, wow, really? don't do that. Go no. yourself. Wow, don't do that. Go yourself. You're being really mean. Go. I was angrier than I've been in a long time. Mm. When she's insinuating, like, the drinking and the eating problem. But I didn't know if this was your first drink or your fifth, or it was your medicine for your, your foot. I take gabapentin at night when I go to bed. You're gonna tell everybody I don't eat? Well, you don't. And I struck back. Yeah, you did. This Sutton is a mean person. For her to say something like that when she knows how painful that's been for me. What did I do to you other than not give you a play-by-play -play about what's going on in my marriage currently? I asked her about her household, about her marriage. What is wrong with my household? What is wrong with my house? Is there something the going on? Now? Did that warrant this? We would talk every day, text. I've been with her family and her closest friends. You know, I just thought that I was in the family. Just didn't match how she talks to me normally about my relationships with my sisters. So, and also Kim and I are like, you know, in a great place. So I was thinking, you know, what are you doing? Well, Why would you say something about someone's family? You know nothing. It was really disappointing. I felt terrible afterwards because I knew that that was the lowest place to go. And I went there and I can't believe I did it. Like, I can't believe I did no, that. No, nobody could. Everybody was like in shock. I didn't know that side of her before. I don't know. And now I'm like, was that always there? Yes, it was. <laughs> Everybody knows how I feel about Sutton. I felt this way when she was very persistent about my divorce. Then when I did push back at her at your sister Kathy's dinner. Everybody wants me to be very honest with you and transparent, so I'm trying to do that. Would because... you like to get sued? She cried and somehow or another I was a bully. And, I, and she had to get a security person. Yeah, she had to get a security person. <laughs> sorry, and there sorry. was all, no, but it, it's, it's full on comical. I just don't, I don't think that's okay. I'm sorry, I forgot, I forgot about the security. <laughs> I know, but it's true. I well, I didn't know if you were gonna come over to my house. And do what? Right, Spray exactly. the hairspray? Come on, stop. And so, <laughs> this is what I don't like. I Blue see your it. eyes shut with eyelash glue? Well, like she already did that to poor Cherie. Oh, oh I can't and it's see not seven you. Times. And I, you know, she, but that's what I'm talking about is I've seen this side and I think she enjoys this. And I think she enjoys thinking that she's in this position amongst this group. And I'm telling you, this is who she is. At dinner, Erica says she wants one good love affair. What? She wants a whirlwind romance. Who does? Erica. I want one good want love that. affair. Yeah. You really haven't had one. I want one of those things you see in the movies yeah. where you just can't be apart yeah. and you just, oh my gosh, we must be together. It's like romantic and you do all these things. But didn't she have that? I think she had that. I think she had that with Tom. I feel like they had planes and trips. Yeah, and, and, and coming from being a single mom and uh, being a waitress and a stripper, whatever. nothing wrong with strippers, <laughs> and then having this amazing life, I think that was That's it. a whirlwind romance. romance. No matter how it ended. Even, even the ending is kind of whirlwind. I mean, but who thinks about it's that? It's a bad tornado, but right, it's still okay. windy. In my, the beginning of my marriage, up until probably like, you know, the last four to five years, where it was just, you know, horrible. Um, yeah, Tom was very warm and very sweet and did a lot of beautiful things for me and was certainly not 
he was a great husband in a lot of ways. It just ended very badly. It's interesting because after you come out of a long marriage and you're f single and I was going through so much like insane things, you kind of want that once in a lifetime romance that you see in movies, just for once. I don't care whether you're rich or poor. Mm -hmm. I, you know, rich, broke, Justin, whatever. Stop I don't it. Care. Wait a minute, did you just say I don't care if you're stop rich or poor? It. What I'm saying is, if you have a love affair with someone, that's what yeah. I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Not yeah. like an arrangement again. But it's not gonna happen, so it's fine. Actually, when Erica made that comment, I was really surprised hmm. that she has never been in love. She's never had that like, wow, that love, that feeling, that person that you just feel so that's so passionate. Sad. And it's so sad. It, that's I felt that sad. Is so sad. I thought I she did been. have that with her first husband, um, but apparently not. Like she hasn't been madly in love, where you get the butterflies. He walks in the room, and you know all that stuff. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that, Erica. Hold on, I'm not that, I'm not that lovey-dovey. Probably, I'm just blaming it on the weave. Whoa. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. I, I did feel sad because I was like, you, you said you never had that. I had elements of that, but not that whole, right. like, I never had a marriage like you had, okay? You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never had that. Boyfriends? What, now? No, that you had that feeling? I mean, maybe, that was a million years ago. You need a new one. I, I have a lot of things to sort out, Great. Yeah. Moving on from there. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever be married again. I, I don't think that that, well, I'm still married, um, which is at the lowest, you know, importance of all the problems that I have, is getting a divorce. I, I'm, I don't think I'll ever be married again, but having a partner and being in love with someone, of course. The one thing I am happy about is that I did not leave my marriage hating men. You know, I'm not bitter. I'm mad and angry at my particular situation but I still think there are a lot of good men out there. What do you recall about Denise's behavior at the weed dinner? Denise, she had a couple too many drinks and she had her, the neck of her jacket was here and the waist was up here. Is this on backwards? No. You sure? Backwards? Upside down? No. I'm so good to see you. It was a look. Oh, goodness <laughs> gracious. I mean, I genuinely just, like I would with anybody, if I saw toilet paper on someone's yes. heel, or if I saw something. Yes, someone, you would. You were very like, make yes, sure you Yes, absolutely. And, and it, looked, it looked a little bit strange, and then I was like, oh no, I think she put it on upside down. I didn't want her, someone not to say something to her. Of course. So I said it quietly, I said, I think your jacket's upside down. And she, was she was like, yeah. Is yours upside down? Mine? You are the only one. Don't do this, don't do this. I know what you're doing. Stop it. I know what you're doing. I'm not your jacket. I don't give a flying ass about a jacket. Okay. And I was like, what? That's tough. I think she thought I was trying to point out that her jacket was upside down, like to everyone. I said it so quietly, I whispered. It's not like I screamed, Denise, your jacket's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, as somebody who's nominated for the worst Christmas song ever, screaming out, hit the high note. Hit the high note. <laughs> it's not, I'm not judging Denise. I'm just mad that she was coming for me. You were a bitch to me. Okay. And you know it. Girl, save all of this for the other people. I don't care that you're slurring at dinner. I've done it a million times myself. God bless you, but don't try to come for me with your jacket upside down. <laughs> What was it like seeing your good friend Sutton Strack whip out a joint at Kyle's weed dinner? No, seriously. No, seriously. No, seriously. No, seriously. I was surprised because it's at somebody else's house. Is she about to light up at the table? Well, I'm sorry. I was told I could. Excuse me. Your girlfriend is... How said I could? It smells good. In the house? What the... <laughs> I'm at the dinner table. Wow. Sutton Strack. It was ballsy. Well... It was sexy. It was? Yeah. Because you didn't give a F. Mm -mm. I've stopped. I thought when she lit up that joint, I was like, this is just the icing on, on the, the cake, cake tonight, mm -hmm. honestly. Mm -hmm. And I was upset with her, but I did actually low-key love that moment. I just thought it was like cuckoo. Oh my God, oh my God. This is totally legal. Hitting the trees right at the 
and table. We're already at a like THC dinner and then she like pulled out like a joint. I'm like, that's just taking it a step too far, like just extra, like why? It was just very like attention seeking. I wasn't as surprised as everyone else when we had gone out to this charity event and Sutton had a joint and she said, here, have a puff. I was like, no, 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 I really, I, you know, I don't like, she said, it's very, very, very light. So I took one <laughs> tiny <laughs> hit off of this thing. I never went into the actual charity event. I couldn't, I could barely stand. Oh, I had no. to get in, back into this is why I don't the do, car. This is why I don't and I stayed in the car by myself the entire night, waiting for Mo and Kyle to come back to the car oh, because God. I couldn't even go into the party to get them. I would venture to guess <laughs> That was not the first and only time she had a joint in her handbag. I mean, one would deduce based on this what is, she did that night. This is eerily similar to the vodka in the cup. Sutton is a drinker. She's somebody that I would not be surprised if she pours a little vodka in her coffee in the morning. I am just saying, you know, <laughs> we're being honest and open here. I assumed it was, it, she had it because we were going to weed dinner. So she wanted to have triple the weed? Yeah. Who brings weed to a weed dinner? No, I don't do weed, dude. Was she afraid there wasn't gonna be enough Maybe. weed? Because that is like really, <laughs> it's like someone brings vodka to a vodka party. <laughs> it's like, are you afraid there's not gonna be enough vodka? You know what I mean? You're killing me today. I just, just I'm just saying, like seriously. <laughs> We're at a pot party. I know. And I don't eat that stuff. But it was, it was, it was a little shocking to me.